One evening you pull your car into a small charging station on the edge of town. The sun's setting, the air's warm, and your electric vehicle is running on just 5% battery. You plug it in, head inside for a quick coffee, and when you come back 10 minutes later, your car's charged to full, ready to take you another 250 miles. It sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But that's exactly the kind of future Tesla says is just around the corner. Elon Musk and his engineers are betting the company's next chapter on something that could completely change how we think about electric cars. Aluminum ion batteries. Four years, every conversation about EVs has revolved around one question. How far can it go? But Tesla's shifting that question entirely. They're asking, how fast can you refill? The answer might just destroy every single argument anyone still has against owning an electric car. Imagine this. Instead of waiting half an hour at a supercharger, you're back on the road in 10 minutes. No stress, no planning your day around charging, no more waiting. It's the kind of leap that makes EVs not just practical but superior, even for those who grew up loving the roar of gasoline engines. So, what makes this so special? Why aluminum? And why now? To understand that, we need to talk about something that doesn't often make the headlines battery life. Every EV battery today, even Tesla's best, is built around lithium ion chemistry. It's powerful, efficient, and proven, but it's not perfect. Over time, those batteries wear out. They can only be charged and discharged a few thousand times before their capacity starts to fade. A typical Tesla lithium ion battery handles about two to three thousand full charge cycles. That translates to roughly half a million miles of driving before you notice a real drop in range. Not bad, right? But aluminum ion technology changes the math completely. Early lab results show these new batteries could last close to 10,000 charge cycles. That's four times longer. In plain English, that means a car could drive more than two and a half million miles before its battery chemistry starts breaking down. Think about that. Two and a half million miles. That's more than most people will ever drive in a lifetime. For Tesla, that number isn't just about bragging rights. It changes the economics of owning a car. Right now, the hidden worry for every EV owner, especially those who've been driving for years, is battery degradation. After three or four years, you might lose 8% of capacity. Buyers know it and it hits resale value hard. Nobody wants a used electric car if they're not sure how much life is left in its most expensive component. But aluminum ion could make that fear disappear entirely. If a battery can last 10,000 full cycles and you only charge it 50 or even 100 times a year, you'll never wear it out. That means a Tesla could easily last longer than the owner. For families, for retirees, for people who value long-term investment, that changes everything. You buy one car, you keep it for 20 years, and it performs just as it did on day one. Fleet operators, taxis, delivery services, rideshares, they could save millions in replacement costs. A vehicle driving 70,000 miles a year could run for decades on the same pack. And beyond the financial side, there's something even more powerful, the environmental impact. Producing batteries takes a huge amount of energy. Mining lithium, refining metals, assembling the cells, all of that carries a carbon cost. But if a battery lasts five times longer, the environmental footprint per mile drops dramatically. You're spreading that same production cost across millions of miles instead of hundreds of thousands. According to independent studies, battery manufacturing accounts for up to 40% of an EV's lifetime emissions. If you extend that battery's life by five times, it drops below 10%. Suddenly, the car isn't just cleaner at the tailpipe, it's cleaner across its entire lifespan. Now imagine what that does to the used car market. Right now, used EVs depreciate faster than gas cars because of battery anxiety. Buyers worry about hidden degradation. But if that problem disappears, used Teslas, especially a budget-friendly Model 2, could hold their value for decades. And that's exactly where Elon Musk's strategy gets interesting. See, Tesla's next vehicle, the Model 2, isn't just another EV. It's their bet on mass adoption, a car designed to bring Tesla ownership to millions of people who could never afford it before. And the only way to hit that sweet spot, affordability without sacrifice, is through radical battery innovation. Of course the skeptics are out there. They argue that aluminum ion cells have lower energy density, meaning they store less energy for their size. And they're right. Early prototypes come in at around 160 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram, while lithium-ion cells reach closer to 270. So yes, aluminum-ion batteries might offer 30 or 40 miles less range. But here's the twist. When you can recharge in 10 minutes, range doesn't matter nearly as much. Think back to the early days of smartphones. When charging was slow, every manufacturer tried to stuff in the biggest battery possible. 
but once fast charging arrived people stopped caring about battery size. They could top up anytime anywhere. That's the future Tesla's chasing for EVs. A world where you don't worry about how far you can go, because a quick 10 minute stop gives you all the range you need. Let's take a real example. You're driving from Los Angeles to San Francisco, about 380 miles. With today's lithium-ion Model 3, you'd stop once for around 25 minutes to recharge to 80%. With a Model 2 using aluminum-ion cells you might stop twice, but for 10 minutes each reaching full charge both times. You'd actually finish the trip faster. And here's another fascinating part, the infrastructure effect. Right now, charging stations are a bottleneck. Each one serves maybe 16 cars an hour because charging takes half an hour. Cut that time to 10 minutes, and suddenly the same station can serve 40 plus vehicles an hour, without building a single new charger. That's the kind of quiet revolution that reshapes the entire transportation system. And aluminum doesn't just win on speed, it wins on cost. Let's look at the numbers. Lithium is rare. Most of the world's supply comes from just a handful of countries. Australia, Chile, China, and Argentina. In 2022, lithium prices spiked more than tenfold. That volatility is a nightmare for automakers trying to plan long-term. Aluminum, on the other hand, is everywhere. It's one of the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust, and we already recycle it at scale. Nearly three-quarters of all aluminum ever produced is still in use today. That means aluminum ion batteries can be made cheaper, more sustainably, and with far fewer geopolitical risks. Right now, a lithium-ion battery pack costs about $130 per kilowatt hour. Aluminum-ion is projected to come in around 60 to 70. For a 50 kilowatt hour battery, the size Tesla plans for the Model 2, that's a cost difference of more than $3,000 per car. And when battery costs make up nearly a third of an EV's total price, that's massive. It's the difference between a $35,000 car and a $25,000 one. And that's the target, a true mass market Tesla under 25 grand. A car that's fast, affordable, and virtually maintenance free. For a lot of middle aged buyers, people who've seen fuel prices rise, watched cars get more complicated, and just want something reliable, that's going to be irresistible. But let's be honest for aluminum ion to succeed, it has to overcome one more barrier trust. People over 40 grew up in an era where new tech usually meant unreliable. We've seen trends come and go. And for decades, car makers have promised revolutionary batteries that never quite delivered. So Tesla's challenge isn't just technical, it's emotional. They have to convince an entire generation that this isn't another hype cycle. But Elon Musk has a way of pulling that off. He did it with rockets that land themselves. With cars that drive themselves. With factories that produce half a million EVs a year when critics said it couldn't be done. If aluminum ion works at scale, it'll do more than make Tesla cheaper. It'll rewrite the rules for the entire industry. Imagine Ford, Toyota, Volkswagen. Every one of them scrambling to adapt to a chemistry that's cheaper, faster, cleaner, and longer lasting. It's the kind of disruption that doesn't just change products. It changes power. And here's where things get poetic. For over a century, aluminum was called the metal of the future. It built planes, skyscrapers, and satellites. And now, it might be the key to powering the cars of tomorrow. Let's talk about the range question again, because that's what most drivers still care about. The Model 2 is expected to deliver around 250 miles on a single charge, roughly 400 kilometers. That's about the same as the Chevy Bolt and BYD Dolphin. In other words, Tesla's not chasing the biggest number anymore. They're chasing the right number, the one that fits real-world driving. The average driver covers about 37 miles a day. That means a full charge on the Model 2 could last nearly a week for most people. And when you can refill completely in 10 minutes, the range anxiety argument simply evaporates. Even on long trips, it's faster than filling a gas tank if you factor in bathroom breaks, snacks, or coffee stops. And that's the heart of Tesla's new story, practicality. Electric cars started as luxury statements, a mix of environmental concern and status symbol. Now they're becoming everyday machines that just make sense. For someone in their 40s, 50s, or 60s, people who've seen the full arc of the automotive industry, this is a fascinating turning point. We're watching the moment when technology stops being futuristic and starts being ordinary. It's like the first time you saw a smartphone replace a landline, 
or streaming replace the DVD shelf. At first it feels new, then suddenly it feels inevitable. But make no mistake, this is a bet. Tesla's putting its future on a technology that's still unproven at mass scale. If aluminum ion cells perform as expected, Tesla could dominate the next decade. If they don't, it could be a costly misstep. That's why 2026 will be such a crucial year. The first production Model 2s are expected to roll out with these batteries. By then, we'll know whether this was another bold Musk gamble, or the moment EVs finally outgrew their limitations. And if it works, the phrase charging anxiety might disappear from our vocabulary forever. So picture it again, you pull up to a station, plug in, grab your coffee, and 10 minutes later you're back on the road. The same car you bought 20 years ago still runs like new. The same battery still powering your journeys, long after the gas stations have faded into history. It's a quiet kind of revolution. One that doesn't make headlines with explosions or breakthroughs, but with time, time saved, time earned, time restored to your life. That's what aluminum ion promises. Not just faster charging. Not just cheaper cars. But a future where your vehicle feels less like a gadget, and more like a companion built to last a lifetime. So, when Tesla finally unveils the Model 2, remember, this isn't just about range, speed, or price. It's about trust. It's about whether one company can once again make us believe in the impossible. And maybe, just maybe, that quick stop for coffee will become the symbol of an entirely new era. The moment when electric driving stopped being the future and simply became the present.